Let us learn pre chop and conquer. This is a totally unedited surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. And now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And then a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. Capsulorexis is done with the help of a uterate of forceps. When we use uterata regularly, it takes less time than the needle. Hydrodissection is done with the 27 gauze cannula and BSS. The nucleus is stabbed and the nucleus is mobilized. The antechamber is again filled up with visco, 2 percent SPMC. And now we are going to divide this nucleus into four pieces with this pre chopper designed by Dr. Sohil Irfan Khan. On the left hand is a sustainer, a ball tipped chopper. The two instruments come to each other and now rotate 90 degree, place the pre chopper again, sustainer hooks the equator of the other hemineucleus and we get four pieces. It takes a little learning curve, not much. Maybe if you try this pre chopper in five, six cases, you get the trick. And now we go into the anterior chamber and start emulsifying the pieces. Ultrasonic energy is set at 60 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is Faro's from Oatley, Switzerland. And now this is the last but one piece and during emulsification of the last piece, the parameters are reduced, vacuum 350 and flow rate 35. Incidence of piscirent is much lower nowadays in my hands because I take these precautions, lowering the parameters during the last piece and emulsifying the last piece slowly. And now cortical cleanup is to be done. I inject visco. and use a 23 cause Simco cannula to remove this cortical lens matter. It is done, almost done. This is the cortex at 6 o'clock. This is cortex sub main wound and the cortex from 10 o'clock also removed. So cortical cleanup is done and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. I am using a B cartridge, so I am enlarging the main wound by 0 0.1 millimeter. So the main wound is now about 2.9 millimeter. And now hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is done. Both the haptics are in the capsular bag. And now a bit of 
moxie is injected into the anterior chamber and then the side port is closed by stromal hydration. I do a final lavage of the anterior chamber and with this technique the incidence of TAS is negligible in my surgeries. The integrity of the wounds are checked, few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical skills.